Namaste, good morning. It's lovely to see you today. My name is Leanne Peters. I'm from templeofbalance.com.au, Temple of Balance on Facebook and Temple of Balance on YouTube. And I'm very excited to be here sharing with you today. Today for me is Saturday the 10th of February and I'm coming to you live from Tasmania, Australia. It's probably um, just after 9am here and it feels great. It's beautiful weather and the energy is beautiful. So I trust you're feeling good. Good morning, Amanda. Hi, Chelsea. Hi, Elizabeth. Hi, Gert. And CJ, maybe? Great timing, she says. Or he, sorry. <laughs> I'm not sure, actually. Oh, no offence. I'm not very good with um, names in other languages. Good morning, Raven. Hi, Susie and Andy. And uh, Sharon's here. Hi, Deb. Lovely to see you all. Thanks for stopping by. Extra special welcome to my Temple of Balance patrons, my Pillar of Light family, and all of those of you who support my work through my website. Thank you so much for your support. Um, thank you also for your patience over this past week while we've been hosting our Tasmania Healing Retreat. So that finished yesterday and it was fantastic. I can't speak on behalf of anyone else, but for me and my perspective and what I observed, it was perfect in every way. Um, left feeling actually the whole week generated a lot of gratitude and a lot of connection between all of us and some really special experiences. So um, those moments are very special, I'm sure, to all of us who were there and shared in those special moments. So thank you if you were one of the ones who came to our healing retreat. So, got a plane going overhead. passes a bit so um, our net I'm just finalizing dates now for our next healing retreat um, in February hopefully in 2019 uh, so if you have been waiting or if you might be interested um, just keep an eye out for the details in the next few weeks or the next month or so just depends when I can finalize things and work out what we're going to be doing next year so um, keep an eye out for that. Thank you. Anne asks, what's the highest temperature during the day in Australia just now? I don't know. <laughs> Anne, Australia is a huge place. Um, here in Tasmania and where I am is almost as far south in Australia that you could get. Although there's probably another 100 kilometres perhaps between me and further south and the end of our island. Right now here, the temperature is, I'm sure I just checked on my, my temperature gauge um, about half an hour ago and it was about 22 degrees Celsius. And yeah, that's here. So I guess if you want to know the highest temperature in Australia right now, you might be best to uh, have a look on weather zone or have a look at the weather on the internet. It's one of the great things about the internet these days, isn't it? We can look things up quite instantly. So I'm sure you'll be able to find that very easily. So welcome everybody. It's lovely to be here and um, be in this space and have this opportunity to share with you and the means and the technology to do this. It's always blows my mind really. So thank you for being here. If you're new to watching, welcome. What I'm going to be doing is using my Speed of Light Oracle cards and I'm going to be pulling one card for Saturday the 10th of February, one card for Sunday the 11th of February and one card for the theme for Saturday and Sunday. So I trust that something shared will be helpful and supportive for you. Just take on board what feels right and let the rest go. I am not doing personal requests for guidance here today. This is general guidance for everyone. So I trust that you've been led here for a reason and something shared will be helpful and supportive for you. So just take on board what resonates, what feels right, what speaks to you, what makes sense to you at this time and what you're going through. And anything that doesn't make sense, just let it go. Water off a duck's back. Just let it run off 
off you. Don't, you don't even need to give it a second thought if it doesn't make any sense for you right now. But I do trust 100% that our paths have crossed for a reason and that it's no accident that you happen to be connecting with this particular message today. So as far as what's going to be said, I have no idea. Let's wait and see. Let's see what happens. So I'm now looking at shuffling my deck. The wind's getting up by the feel of it. <laughs> uh, I'm just going to shuffle my deck now and um, look for the best card for Saturday the 10th of February. So if it's not Saturday for you yet, you can think of this as guidance in advance. So basically I'm just shuffling my deck, holding the intention to for the best card for Saturday the 10th of February. That's the most helpful for the majority of us to come to the surface, to come to the top of the deck based on the way that I pick my cards, which is to shuffle, split the deck into two and take the top card. So I trust 100% that this is the best card for Saturday the 10th of February. And we're going to go with this. And this is perfect, card 22, called Lotus Heart. And the key words say, Om Mantra, Meditate, reconnect and peace. So this talks about coming back into centre on Saturday. And as we come back into centre, as we consciously bring ourselves into a space of centre, and I'll talk a bit more about what that might mean in a moment. As we do that, as we focus on coming back to centre, I'm really being drawn to these uh, blossoms of this lotus flower extending out. So if we're wanting to feel more love, feel more joy, feel more radiance, more connection um, to ourselves, to others, to our moments, then returning back to centre will be important because I feel this energy of returning back into centre will then help expand our heart and expand our being, just like a sun radiating or a flower blossoming on our heart or within our being. So returning to centre, what does that mean or what can you do to help yourself find your centre? It's going to be different for everyone, but I'll just share a couple of ideas that stand out for me at this time. So first of all, returning or getting into centre to me means returning back into your body, um, focusing on your body, your breathing, what's important to you. Um, it really is a switch in focus or attention from our mind and overthinking and our doubts or worries or, or stresses that we may be under mentally and detaching from those as best as we can to return our energy back into our heart or back into our body or back into this moment. Because when we're out of center, when we're very focused mentally, we're very much uh, detached from the moment. We're very much out of alignment with now. So we tend to be very past or future focused or very head, um, very mentally focused in, in our moments. So to return to centre, I found it helpful to detach from my overthinking and return into my heart, into my body, into this moment. Sometimes I do that by um, really connecting with my spine and imagining that I'm breathing up. So a nice deep breath in, going up my spine and a deep breath going out, going down my spine. Sometimes I'll just, um, to find my centre, I'll take some deep breaths and just really focus on my heart. And like I've said a few times, imagining a nice comfortable chair or couch or bed in my heart that I imagine myself coming and sitting or laying in. Um, sometimes for me to visualise or help myself find centre, I will step out into nature. I will hug a tree. I will imagine my body as a tree and that my, my body here is the trunk of the tree and the tree roots, um, my tree-like roots extend out from the soles of my feet and the branches extend out um, from the crown of my head and up into the sky or up into the universe. So you can think about your breathing, grounding, 
um, connecting with your body are some great things to do to help you find center. Putting on your favorite song to help lift your spirits and help you detach from that overthinking may be quite uh, helpful for you. Sometimes if we've been thinking a lot, um, a great way to find center is to um, get active, go for a brisk walk or a swim or um, do a bit of exercise or some speed cleaning, put on your favorite song and give the house a vacuum or a sweep or something like that it can be a great way to detach from your mind and get back into center. So Saturday feels to be great um, to focus on getting back into center so that we can radiate or feel or tap into a deeper sense of joy and a deeper sense of love within ourself. So I trust that makes sense for you for Saturday. Reconnection. Reconnecting with yourself. Reconnecting with what's important to you. So thank you. Hi Cheryl. Cheryl says thank you for your guidance. Have a blessed day. Thank you. Charlotte says I like to stand in mountain pose. That's a yoga pose with bare feet in my backyard even sometimes in the winter. Wow, well done. That's a great. And yes, body postures and poses, especially if you're um, into yoga or Pilates or Tai Chi, um, can be great stances to hold just to help you find your center. Alma says, uh, walked in the ocean and it was very centering. Yeah, walking in the ocean is wonderful. Okay, so I'm now looking for the best card for Sunday, the 11th of February. So I trust that this is the best card for Sunday, which is here. And we've got card 50 called Unicorn. And the unicorn's keywords say psychic, gifts, spiritual, intuition and trust. So this talks about your spiritual interests being important on Sunday. So if you're going to some type of class or dedicating some time on Sunday to your spiritual interests, then this is definitely a very favorable supportive card for you, that it's very favorable to do that. If you've been, or you might find on Sunday the opportunity or the time for you to focus on some, some of your spiritual um, interests and things that you like to do on a spiritual level on um, on Sunday so be open to connecting with yourself in that way and allowing your spiritual interests what inspires you spiritually to help uh, lift your spirits and awaken your being to more than what you might see in the mirror or more than what you might experience and touch uh, and taste in your uh, physical environment for your spiritual interests and your spiritual your spirituality and whatever that means for you, whatever your beliefs might be or your spiritual interests, um, will help lift you and help you connect with more than what you are in this physical sense. And that feels to be important on Sunday for some of us to reconnect with our spirituality, our spiritual side, to deepen our spiritual understanding of ourselves, to tap into our spiritual side and that part of us that is beyond, if you like, our physical body and our physical experience. So it will be a very favorable day for meditation, for practicing your spiritual tools and techniques and rituals or things that you like to do that um, connect with you and speak to you spiritually. Also on another level, this card is bringing emphasis to the third eye chakra um, here where the alicorn is for the unicorn. And that brings about a sense of strengthening of trust. So strengthening your ability to trust in yourself, to trust in your spiritual gifts and what that mean, what they mean for you. Because that's one of the great things with spirituality is that we can listen and observe and absorb of, as much as uh, of spiritual wisdoms and teachings that other people may be sharing that we want to connect with. It's our choice uh, which things we want to take and which things we want to use and which things don't resonate that we want to let go of. Just because we follow a certain spiritual path doesn't mean we have to believe in black and white every little wisdom that's shared for that uh, specific spiritual 
um, thing. <laughs> so, you know, it's important that we've got our truth detector on and that we're trusting what feels right for us in regards to our spirituality, our truths, and how we want to live our life, what our values are. So our strengthening our ability to trust in ourselves and trust in what we're, what feels right for us feels important <laughs> on a Sunday. So uh, that's the guidance for Sunday, our spirituality and strengthening our ability to trust in ourselves and trust in our truth, um, especially on a spiritual level. So that's the guidance for Sunday. Whew, I think I'm about to sneeze. Okay, I think it's passed. <laughs> oh, hi, Jennifer. Oh, hi, Melina. Lovely to see you both and everyone. I'm now looking for the best card for the theme for Saturday and Sunday. So the theme card will help us bring these days together and help us see the bigger picture for Saturday and Sunday. So the best card for the theme, I trust 100%, is this. Oh, this is quite hilarious because if you've watched my... I'm pretty sure this card's come up for every single um, guidance video that I've done for the last five or six, perhaps. And this card didn't come up for months because I remember making a comment about it five or six videos ago and it showed up every single time. This is the pause card, card 25. And the keywords say, hold, time, transition, suspension, and limbo. This is going to seem like deja vu if you've been watching all of my videos because this card talks about being in a state of transition, still in a state of transition for a lot of us. And that's going to still be playing out for a lot of us over Saturday and Sunday. So what does transition mean? To me, being in a state or a space of transition means that we're in between things. So it's like a door's closed in our life and the new door hasn't quite opened yet. And we're in this void, this limbo, transitional time in between um, moving forward or, or getting our teeth into something and, and kind of digging our heels in and moving forward on our path. It's like we're in this kind of limbo, um, no time, kind of um, hovering sort of space. A lot of us have been lately and over this last couple of weeks, a lot of us have worked really hard to close old doors in our life. We recognised a few weeks ago that uh, we'd been putting our foot in the door and trying to stop it from closing and really tr resisting uh, letting go of the old stuff. And a lot of us have closed those doors shut now. And now we're kind of left in between. It's like we're walking in the hallway. We've closed a door, we've stepped out of it, and now we're just waiting for the new door to open. So a lot of us are on the precipice of change, big change, where we're changing our life, we're moving home, where we might be uh, changing work, um, our workplace, and really being in a big time of transitional, um, this transitional period. So there's a lot of pause in this. There's a lot of a sense of... Um, almost impatience too perhaps where we m might be wanting this new door to open we just want it to happen now uh, we've waited so long for it we've set certain things into motion we've been organizing ourselves for some of us for months and now the new door we can almost feel it uh, almost open but there's just a few little things we've got to do yet during this transitional period so we might feel a bit here uh, pushed and pulled a bit um, neither here nor there and that's really normal to feel that during a transitional period where we have closed a door and we're waiting for that new door to open so let's be really patient with ourselves and let's work with this time of limbo and this time of pause to heal to mend to further release ourselves from the past to further prepare ourselves for what's to come in these days and weeks and months of opening these new doors 
So whatever space that we're in right now, we can trust that it is right for us. Um, if we're struggling to let go of the past or let go of the expired or to shut those old doors, then let's keep pushing forward with that. Let's keep being active in closing those doors that we need to close so that we can be as aligned as possible and ready for that new door to open when that time is perfect. So being suspended in time, feeling pushed and pulled at, feeling restless, being in transition, feeling like you're in limbo. It might be very difficult to settle at the moment. So let's just do our best to capture those calm and settling, stable moments in between the things that we're doing. But on a larger scale in general, it might be quite difficult to feel stable and settled um, over this time period. So that's the theme card, pause, being in limbo and being in transition at this time, but especially over the weekend, but because this has been a hot card in these last several videos, half a dozen videos, then this shows that on a bigger picture, a lot of us are in this transitional period. So let's be patient with ourselves. Let's just do our best to be in the flow and prepare ourselves as best as we can by following what inspires us and what we're drawn to at the time, what we're curious about, what feels right. So that's the theme card for Saturday and Sunday. Thank you so much. So these cards have come to you from my intuition and my Speed of Light Oracle cards. Um, these have been completely created by me and if you want to learn more about them or add them to your website, please visit Temple of uh, add them to your website yeah hello brain needs to step into gear now if you want to add them to your collection you can visit my website to learn more by going to templeofbalance.com.au um, our um, just a couple of things before I finish um, if you're one of my Temple of Balance patrons and you've been inspired to continue supporting my work throughout February, then thank you so much for your support. It really helps me be able to do what I do. So I thank you so much from my heart. Um, I will be on, usually I honour the patron rewards earlier in the month, but because we've had the retreat, there's a little bit of a delay this month. So thank you for your patience, patrons. Um, I will be on Monday and Tuesday really getting into the Patreon, Patreon rewards. So you'll be hearing from me then. I'll be organising a couple of healing events, uh, one for patrons, which is a public event for patrons, um, and a private healing event for our, our Pillar of Light family. So our healing events are coming up, um, our monthly ones, in the next week or two. Um, so if you want to be a part of it, I invite you to learn more about um, supporting my work through Patreon or supporting my work through um, becoming a Pillar of Light family member. If you resonate with my work and you want to explore it deeper, you might find that they are a great way to do that. So have a look on my website if you're inspired to at templeofbalance.com.au. Um, if you want to learn more about the work I do, just visit my website and um, have a browse. There's lots of things on there from my card decks and books to my meditations, artwork, some crystals, pendants, um, events, and lots of different things. Have a look if you want to. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the thumbs up button. Please show us some love. Please comment or share if you're inspired to. And if you'd like to connect more privately, just send us a message through our website. So thank you so much for being here and I trust you've enjoyed our time together today. Sending you lots of love from my heart to yours. Um, thank you. Have a fantastic couple of days and I'll be back to share with you again soon. So thank you and namaste. And namaste means that the divine, the creator within me, honours and acknowledges the divine, the creator within you, that we are equal and we are one. So thank you for being who you are. Namaste.